Greetings from Uttar Pradesh Ashtanan Open University. Today in the series of research methodology, we are going to explore another important topic that is case study. As you all know that in some cases a researcher used to apply cases to show the intensity of the topic that what are the area in which he is working and what are the dimension in which he is exploring and for the justification of that topic he has to take the help of case study. Now the first question arises is what is a case? A case study or a case is a written account of real or stimulated managerial problems. Stimulated means it is being created. Then dilemmas and situations calling for solutions. Analysis of cases is an exercise in critical understanding of concepts and causes of problems and events. Means there are some problems, there are some events which are being happening. And here a researcher used to find the best alternative solution for that specific problem. So these problem can be arised by the dilemmas or some manageable problems or stimulated manageable problems or situation which is being there in built or certain irregular conditions which is being occur, occur in any of the industry. So for that we used to define a case and we have to solve that case to get the best alternative result. Now why case study? Why we used to take case study? So the first thing is develop analytical and critical thinking abilities. When a researcher used to take the help of a case study in his research, his critical ability towards his work is enhanced. He used to start thinking that what are the various dimensions in which he can explore. So here the critical ability, the thinking ability, the analytical ability of a researcher enhances. Second, anybody can read and memorize the procedure of a particular case means whenever you are going to deal with a case there are certain steps by which you are going to solve the case if you are going to make a tea for example if you are going to make tea so for making tea you have got certain steps and everyone who is going to make the tea has to follow the same step same way when you are going to solve a case study you are going to go with the different steps and these analytical steps help the researcher to get the best alternative results, help the students to resolve complex and difficult situations. It helps the student to resolve the difficult situation, the critical situation, the situations which he doesn't have any answer. So by the help of case study, he used to explore the dimensions that why that thing has happened, when that things are happened, what are the conditions in which that things are happened where the things are going to happen. When he used to get the answer of all the four W's, that is why, when, where and what. So he is going to get the answer of these four and he is going to get the best alternative result of his problem, which is known as the solution. Then types of case. As you all know, there are different types of cases. The first type of case is field case. Field case is a case in which a researcher used to have a factual data. Means here, whatever the data he has got is based on facts. All the data which he has got is real data. Right? Means here, a researcher used to go to a specific field and explore the various dimensions of that field. He get the answer of the question which he is going to say. That if an event has happened, why that is a event has happened, when that event has happened, where the event have happened and what are the circumstances in which that event has happened. So the researcher is going on a specific field and taking all the answer from that field based on the real facts and he is going to write the case which is known as the field cases. The second one is the library cases. 
Sometimes it is difficult for a researcher to go on a specific field and explore the dimensions. So there are different published matter which is being kept in the library. So here a researcher used to go and explore the various dimensions by the help of published data. These published data are being kept in the library. He can take the help of the journals, annual reports, different books, different websites also by the help of e-library and on the basis of these published data he is going to form a case. So here a researcher never used to go on the field. Whatever he is writing in his case study is all dependent on the published data, what he is reading in the books, what he is exploring in the journals, what he is doing in the various websites or annual reports. He is collecting the data and making his own cases. The third one is armchair cases. Now, whenever a researcher hasn't have time to go to the field, or he hasn't have any time to go to explore the published matter. Sometimes, in some cases, there are very least data which is being present in the scenario. So, for that cases, there is an armchair case method which is being given, which is being based on factual data. Here, whatever a researcher is writing is based on hypothetical assumptions. So, here, hypothetical assumptions are being taken means this might have happened this might have happened or if this is the solution this is the case which we are going to write so here he hasn't have any idea about the facts he hasn't have any published data but he is making an hypothetical study he is assuming certain things and on the basis of that, assume he is going to make his own cases. So these are the three types of cases by which you can explore your study. So field cases, when you are going to a specific field and exploring the dimensions. Library cases, when you have got the published matter, you are making the cases. And armchair case, where you don't have any data, you are going to assume certain things and going to write it in the form of case. Now let's see that what are the characteristics of a case study. So first is it is a learning tool, right? So why we are using case study? Because it is tell, telling the certain assumptions. It is telling that how you are going to solve the solution, how you are going to get the problem and how you are going to resolve that problem. So it is a learning tool. It tells about that how you have got different steps by which you are going to get the best alternative. Second, it gathers as much information as possible regarding a problem. Case study used to give the different dimensions on which you are going to explore and get the best alternative result. It does not include any resolution to the business problem, means it includes the dimensions, it gives you the best solution, but it does not include the solution of a business problem because different business problems are surrounded by different assumptions. We cannot say that if an organization who has solved that matter in that specific circumstances are going to match with our circumstances. Since the different criteria, since the different areas, therefore the result will also be different. So case studies doesn't give any solution to the business problems. A business case study is different from case history. As you all know, I have told you that for a business case study, you have to explore the various dimensions of the business. If you are going to write a case study on Infosys and a case study on Wipro, automatically there are different structure of both the organization. Both are working in IT field, but the number of employees, the office, the products, all are different. The managerial competencies, all are different. So, when it is different, you cannot get best result of case study in business researcher rather than in case history. 
in case history as you know if you are taking a patient of malaria so all the patients of malaria have got same symptoms so it is helpful when it, we are working on the case history but for business case study it is not being helpful then case studies are not particularly well suited to training what is training training is a process of increasing ksao level of an employee k stands for knowledge as it stands for a skill a stands for ability o stands for other characteristics which is being denoted by the ethics values morals so whenever you are going to enhance these qualities of an employee you are going to say that you are giving training to an employee but for case study it doesn't enhances all these things it is just a method of getting the best solutions it doesn't say that you are going to enhance the ability of an employee so case study is very much different from the training process then guidelines for case analysis now a researcher has to make a frame set frame of mind that how you he is going to write the case so these are the steps by which he can able to write his case study so the first thing he required is read and reread the case here the case doesn't means that what he is going to write means that what were the similar situations in which that activity has occurred if you are taking a case study of an accident in any of the area automatically you have to explore the various dimensions in which the same things has happened in different scenarios so you have to read and reread means again and again read the same thing or explore the different dimensions to get the idea that what has happened then take notes automatically when you are going to write the things you are going to know that these are the steps on which you are going to pinpoint the case so after reading you have to make notes because notes tell that why that things has happened then analysis and evaluation analysis means that you have to take the different dimensions on which the things has occurred and why the things have occurred so you are going to analyzing on the basis of different facts that this has happened because these are the factors which is being taken into account evaluating the process that if that things has happened it has been happened because these are the factors which make that thing possible right then selection of a solution after getting the case taking note analysis and evaluation you are going to have certain criteria that these are the different factors which we are going to explore and taking out and selecting the best alternative is what is the selection of a solution right so after getting the solution you are going to implementation of the best solutions these are the result this is thing findings and this is the best solution on which we have to work and after getting all these things that from the in initial idea to the final thing you are going to write and then you have got an idea that this will be the case study and writing the case study for your research work moving ahead we can see the case study answers the following questions as you all know that why we are taking case study some researcher used to say that why to use case study if our work is an original work why we are taking the help of case study as you all know that case study is being implemented to just supplement that whatever you are doing is on the right track this is the process which has affected you to take this study so case study is just a factual data why you have taken that specific area of the research then the first one is what are the real problems involved in the cases what are the problems which has make you to think about this case so problem statement is important so whatever problem statement in your research work if it matches with certain situation or case 
you are going to take that case for your research work. What are the persuasion facts? What are the facts? Are that fact relevant? If that facts are relevant, we are going to take it for our case study. Then what are the key unknown facts? Means the facts are there, but what are the unknown facts? What no one has explored, but we are going to explore it. Seeing the things from different angles. Perception of every person differs from individual to individual. So, looking your perception and the perception in which that things has happened. So, here, what are the unknown facts are also being known by the help of case study. What are the critical questions bearing in each specific way? Critical questions. As I have told you, you have to ask the question that why, when, where, what. So, if you are going to get the answer of all four things, four W's, you are going to get the solution of your critical questions. Then, what individuals and organization factor have caused the problem? Why that problem has occurred? That problem is affecting an individual or that problem is affecting the whole organization? So, by the help of case study, you can see that who are the people who are directly affected by that whether it is an individual or whether it is a whole organization. So, case study helps in detecting the problem. In what ways contradictory facts and arguments can be weighed in making decisions? Contradictory fact means one is saying yes, the other one is saying no. So, case study used to give an idea that when a people is going towards a motion or accepting a motion, why they are accepting a motion? What are the factors which are influencing individuals to accept that? And if are some people are saying no, they are going against a motion, why they are going against a motion? What are the factors which are making them to deny that fact? So, whenever you have got contradictory facts, case study used to tell you that why the things are happening. And by this you are going to get the best alternative solutions. In what manner can the decisions be implemented? You have made a good policy, you have got a good frame of mind and structure, you have got everything, you have got good program implementer. But how you are going to implement that? What is the best decision by which you are going to implement that? So case study used to tell that this is the area by which if you are exploring this area, you are easily going to get the best result. Then does the organized organization possesses the concise required for the successful implementation? Means the case study used to say that what are the requirements for an organization for a successful implementation of the policy which he has framed. By the help of case study, a uh, organization beforehand has all the assumptions by which he can make the policy implemented successfully. Now, what are the main parts of the written case analysis? So, whenever you are going to write a case, what are the main parts which is being there? For a case study, what are the things it must contain? The first is the title of the case. Means, you have to write that in which area you are going to write. If you are going to take a case study of Satyam, Infosys, Wipro, Microsoft, Tata, any company, the first thing you are going to write the name of that company or an analytical study of human resource in Tata Sons or human resource management in Wipro, training and development in Hindustan Unilever Limited. So, this is the title of the case. Second, the statement of the problem. If you are taking training and development in Hindustan Union Liver Limited, then you have to write that why you are taking that case. Whether training is increasing the efficiency of an employee, what is the time gap of between the two training periods, is training helpful for the overall development of an individual as well as the organization, is training helps an individual to get more familiar with his work culture. So, all these questions 
can be answered by the help of the statement of problems. Then a brief narration of the case. You have to give a brief narration about the company. If you are writing about Hindustan Unilever, you have to give a brief introduction of that company. When the company starts, in what area the company has its business, what are his top management, what is policy, objective, mission, vision, so goals, all you have to mention. And according to that, you have to then frame that we are dealing with the training and development of Hindustan Unilever Limited. Clear? So, here a brief narration is being given over there about the company and about the topic which we are exploring. The scope of the analysis, it is very important that if you are going to do this work, by this work, what are the areas which will be benefited? So, scope is important. If you are dealing, dealing with training and development, automatically after the case study, you are getting, getting the best solution and you are implementing that in the area of training and development because overall growth of the organization can be easily increased by giving proper training to the employee. Right? Overall efficiency of an employee can be raised. Overall competency of the employee can be enhanced by training. So these are the scopes by which we are going to increase the overall efficiency of an organization. Then solution and their evaluation. So if you are working with training and development, so case study here used to tell that these are solutions. You have to give training at every six months, you have to give training in an e-mode, on-the-job training, off-the-job training, anything you can write over there, any method you can adopt, but the best method by which you can directly enhance the cap capability and competency of an employee is what you can get from a case study. Then mention recommended solutions. You have to mention, a researcher has to mention in case study that if you are going to explore in this, this field, these are the solutions which is being best. We are recommending this field for on-the-job training. This is the training method which is being best. Clear? Then conclusions of an action plan. That how you are going to conclude. Yes, training and development increase the KSU level of an employee. Clear? So, these things are very important when you are going to write a case and after concluding, the things you are going to write an executive summary means overall what you have done from the title of the case to the analysis to the conclusion what you have written you are going to present it in the executive summary so this is very important we have explored the various dimensions of case as you all know that by a case study a researcher has a primary idea of solutions because this is the best method by which we can say that in shorter period of version, in shorter version, how we are going to explore the different problems and getting the best solutions and concluding the solution for the betterment of our research work. So this is the main impact of a case study in any of the research. I hope you have understood. Thank you. Thank you.